people are always asking me for a map to how to do certain things. And while I teach how to do things and I, sh I show what works, there's a million ways to do marketing and affiliate marketing is no different. Now I want to show you something specific though, so that maybe you can get a real, uh, example of something so that it, it becomes a little bit more, um, practical application for you, right? So I'm inside my Amazon account and I have an affiliate relationship with Amazon. And today we can see that I sold citronella essential oil mosquito repellent. I also sold a, I don't even know what this is. Hold on. Let me hover over it. Hoberman switch pitch ball. <laughs> I don't even know what that is and a periodic table of elements poster for kids. All right, so these are the price of the items that sold, and then I'm gonna get a commission on those, and my commission average is at about 4%. There is a fee table on here that shows you what exactly things pay, um, but mine kind of settle out at 4%. You can go anywhere from it's like two to 10%, four to 10 is the average, okay. Um, so I want to show you this one. So I, this one's pretty obvious to me, this citronella essential oil mosquito repellent. So I'm doing quite a bit of this and I know why, because I did it intentionally. So let me show you where this is coming from. So I teach that building a niche website is a great way to generate, um, affiliate income. So one of my niche websites is real estate. Okay. So this is, um, real estate and inside this website, I have a blog, um, a blog and the blog is, um, tips for homeowners. Basically. I mean, just anything to do with buying a home, selling a home, living in a home, rehabbing a home. So you can see some examples here. I've got, where to go see Easter egg hunts. So these are my local stuff about Las Vegas city guide, Las Vegas arts district. Okay. Um, buying it for sale by owner. What's the commission for realtor. But then I also have things like how to choose the best mattress. Um, what paint colors are best for a home gardening tips. So anything that a homeowner is going to be interested in. So my niche is, somebody that lives in a house. <laughs> okay. Um, and what I do is I look up specific types of topics that I think are going to generate some interest. And I, I put out some great articles. Now, if we go over here to my keyword tool, what you're able to see, and I'll, I'll put a link to this, um, keyword tool in the video. This is SEM rush. But what I'm able to do is I went over here and I typed in the word bug and I'm looking up only on my own website. So I have my own website pulled up here. The domain names up top and I've got a couple articles about bugs. So I've got one article about bed bugs and I have another article about keeping bugs off your screen door. Okay. And in other lessons, I show you how to do the keyword research so that I know what to write on. And you know, it takes, a, it takes an article on Google, a good three, four, five, six, seven months to rise up the ranks. So I might have an article last year that didn't do anything. And then this year, all of a sudden it, it skyrockets. So it's a time thing. And then it's also not just a time thing. It's also building other articles and establishing your website, getting more visibility. So here, this one, I can see bug off screen. So let me open this article so I can show you what this looks like so that you can understand where, how that person was led to Amazon to buy the item. So here we go. How to keep bugs off your screen doors. And I've kind of got a standard for my blogs. I've got an intro. I've got a video. I've got a call to action here. I've got a table of contents. Okay. So you can see this right here, rub citronella oil on the screens. What did we sell? Citron oil, Cit citronella essential oil. Okay. So as you can see here, as we scroll down, these are Amazon links. 
these are Amazon links. And I don't sell any of those, so I should change those. I'm just thinking out loud. Here we go. This is what I usually do sell, though. I sell these, the insect repellent, and then we have rub citronella oil on the screens. If the bug spray you are, you are using isn't working great, you can try a natural option like citronella oil. Now watch what happens. They click on citronella oil, and they go right here. Now let's take a look at which oil it was that we sold. Get that link to pop up there. There it is. That's it. That's the one. And I have to tell you guys that these types of ads, the, this, um, the link ads, where did we go? Oh, it took me off the page. Let me go back to my blog here. The link ads right here do much better for me than these um, grids of products right here. Okay? And... What will also happen is somebody might look down at my table of contents and they might go, oh, well, I'm just looking for this rub citron oil. And they might shoot right down, see what they want, and they buy the item. So you have to play with this. You can do these, these types of um, custom search ads. You can do lists like this, or you can do the text links like this. And I mix and match mine and play with all of them. But as you can tell, this one worked. Now, the other ones, I don't know where they came from today. What happens with Amazon, these aren't anything, I, I, I don't market toys. So what happens with Amazon is if somebody clicks through on one of your items, let's just say this person that's looking at the citronella essential oil. If they click through, they buy anything. They put anything in their shopping cart in the 24 hours following the time they click that link, you actually make a commission on everything they put in their cart. As long as you were the last Amazon link they clicked on. So oftentimes this person might've been looking for paint and they clicked on one of my Amazon links for paint. And a day later, you know, within 24 hours, they go, they, they end up buying this uh, switch ball, pitch ball, or this periodic table of elements. Okay, sometimes that can happen. Um, this could also be somebody else that has my um, Amazon link. But I know for sure 100% where this one came from. I was able to show you that, uh, and that happens quite a lot. I have another one that I do quite a bit on, and that is um, uh, I did an article on bearing the St. Joseph statue to sell a house, and I put a link on there for the St. Joseph statue, and so people click through and buy the St. Joseph statue. So this is just a great real deal example of how affiliate marketing works. And one of my favorite ways, my, my top couple ways are um, I teach, and I teach software, like how to use my AWeber email program, or how to use IDX broker on a real estate agent website, that type of thing. And uh, people learn with me and they pick up those products, sometimes using my links, not always. Another way I do a lot with affiliate marketing is I show something um, like my new shoes and people love the shoes. Where'd you get the shoes? And I'm able to say, this is where I got it. And a great affiliate link will also give me a coupon to pass on to them. So, hey, if you like these shoes, Here's a coupon, get $20 off, you get 20 bucks, so do I. You know, that kind of a thing. And so I do a lot with that. I also do a lot with video. And um, I do some product reviews. Um, I do a lot of software training. And then I do a lot of blogging on my niche websites. I'm not doing a lot with paid advertising. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back and give you guys some more lessons on paid advertising. But most of mine's organic which means it's not paid. So I earn in on the search engines and on social media and on YouTube primarily. So there's your, there's your example today. And um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson.